The upgrade of the country's weapons of war and skills and strategies of its soldiers on the battlefield has been without pause since early last month. Today, the Navy that brings the gravy had yet one more reason to cheer about with the latest addition to their fleet as summed up by our Bear Bernardo in this story. The armed forces of the Philippines is working hard to reinforce its defense capabilities amidst the challenges in our maritime territories and exclusive economic zone. Two Shaldag MKV fast attack interdiction craft missiles were christened today at Fort San Felipe in Cavite City. They are the BRP Hiner Tinangag and BRP Domingo de Luana. They are celebrated former members of the Philippine Marine Corps and Medal of Valor recipients, the highest honor awarded to soldiers who show unmatched heroism in the field of battle and in defense of our country. Marlene Deluana Huatno, sister of Sergeant Deluana, couldn't help but turn emotional during the ceremony. It was a great honor for their family to witness the Philippine ship named after his brother. Domingo died while fighting for the Moro Islamic liberation in Maguindanao in 2000. Proud po ako na kahit 23 years na po siyang nawala, namatay, nabigyan siya po ng ganitong pagkakat na magandang tulong dito po sa hukbong daga. Corporal Tinanggag's family is also very happy to be recognized. He was one of the soldiers who died during the Marawi siege. Siyempre sir, masaya na proud na proud <laughs> na may naipangalan sa kanya na ganyan. The arrival of the two ships is expected to beef up the littoral defense capability of the country. The Philippines acquired a total of nine Shaldog MKV vessels from Israel, four of which are already delivered in the country, while three are slated to be installed here. The Israeli government assisted the country to upgrade its shipbuilding center in Cavite. This is where the technology and equipment will be shared and provided to the Philippines so it can build its own ships. This is an integral part of the fast attack interdiction craft acquisition project entered into by the country under the Duterte administration. Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri promised support for the AFP modernization program Horizon 2 and Horizon 3. He vows to talk with the BM for military funding. The lawmaker insists it is high time that the AFP have more asset in the face of the national and regional security challenges in our maritime territories. We are an archipelago and because it's an archipelago, we need more patrol craft. And um, sana madoblehan po natin ito. Bayo Bernardo for the Nation.